Hi, and welcome back to Cannabis Infused Motherhood. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video because my YouTube channel kind of got away from me and I ended up uploading um, tons of tutorial videos and I really want to get more in depth and start uploading videos um, that kind of go along the lines of cannabis, spirituality, and healing and while tutorials and cooking with cannabis is also great, um, I'd like to start getting into some sort of kind of guided energy work sessions um, and just teaching and talking about different things um, to help you kind of create alchemy in your life and start changing your thoughts and your frequency to attract more and better things. I'm recording this on April 9th, 2020, and currently the entire world is kind of slowing down, and we're all kind of stuck at home, and I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to dive into what I originally envisioned this channel being all about. Um, I haven't uploaded in quite some time, and that is due to me going through some very hard things. Um, there was, in 2019, um, there was quite a lot of trauma that I had to overcome and deal with, and this kind of stuff is what helped me get me through it, and now I'm at a place where I'm finally ready to start sharing that experience and just sharing different kinds of tools that you can use if you're going through anything super difficult. Um, I was in a pretty bad car accident in 2019, there was a death in the family, um, my husband had to have surgery, and it was just it was just trauma after trauma after trauma, and not to mention I am a mom of two wonderful, lovely, I love them to death, special needs boys. They are both diagnosed with severe autism, they're both nonverbal. And they both have each their own set of unique challenges, so I am very busy. Um, I'm going to try to find quiet moments to record these kind of videos so that the kids aren't jumping and running around and <laughs> um, you're able to hear that because that would be quite um, kind of disturbing. Not disturbing, but um, just kind of distracting is a better word um, in relaxation and things like that. So here we go, here's my first one, and right now I'm going to do a little bit of a chat about alchemy, and then we are going to go into a nice grounding session to help you kind of relax and fall asleep. I love using cannabis to do these sort of visualizations or meditations, whatever you like to call them. Um, but these exercises are going to be very helpful for you to kind of start changing your thought patterns and changing um, the way you think about things so that you're able to either heal from something that you went through or um, just kind of get to the other side so that you can begin creating the person you want to create again because sometimes when we go through trauma it feels like our entire world is shifting and it's kind of um, important just to kind of bring ourselves back to the present and begin to build ourselves up again um, and become even better versions of ourselves. Even though we had some downtime like I had to, I took almost, I guess, almost a year off of really going hard on recording my videos and things like that and it's something I really enjoy doing and it kind of took the back burner due to all those things that I mentioned. So by doing these kind of exercises, I finally got myself to a place where I'm ready to share those experiences and begin actually um, sharing how I healed from those things. So today we're going to talk a little bit about alchemy and the alchemy I'm referring to is basically changing your frequency of thought so that you can alter the harmonics of mat matter and apply the element of love to create a de desired result. So this um, has 
been referred to as manifesting or creating your own reality, things like that. And all of those things are done on a very energetic level. Um, and that's what I want to start sharing more on this channel. So I hope um, if you have already subscribed that you enjoy these kinds of videos and decide to stick around. Um, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, we're going to be trying to upload at least a video a week. Um, yeah, so my internet is very slow, so I might be not as consistent on a schedule as I want to be, but I will do my absolute best with the slow internet that I do have. So let's talk about changing your frequency of thought. Okay, so our thoughts are elect electrical. They, they're very... They're energy. Our thoughts are energy. And our emotions are also energy, but they're kind of mag magnetic and they draw things to us. And when you combine thought and emotion, um, they become electromagnetically charged and become amplified and set in motion. So when you combine um, your unintentional thought alongside of a positive, uplifting emotion, you will draw positive and uplifting experiences to you and the same goes for when you're stuck in negative thought patterns and you perpetuate negative emotions you're going to attract more negative things to you so with our thoughts and our emotions we want to alter the harmonics of matter and we do that by observing without reacting, taking a moment and deciding how we want to react instead of just subconsciously reacting to things. Um, our thoughts have density, and once they're dense enough, they materialize into the physical world, which, like I said, is much like um, manifesting. It's, it's, we're talking about the same thing, it's just all different terms, different people give it different terms. So. We want to be able to kind of accelerate our awareness and kind of start noticing the words that we speak um, and the words that we choose in different situations and decide to consciously choose words that feel good. So that is one of the most important things. Um, and when you apply the element of love to those thoughts and emotions, that is when you'll start creating a much higher vibrational reality around you. So for example, when you're appreciating a lovely waterfall, that feeling of unification, um, when you feel expanded, like a part of you expands out into everything, into nature, into the universe, in that moment you are kind of unaware of your physica physicality. Um, these moments can happen when you're um, let's say playing with your child and your child is laughing and you're just in a moment of pure awe and adoration of that child and it's like an extension of you. Um, you can feel that way when you're listening to music, when you feel so connected to what the artist is saying and the rhythms and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that those kinds of feelings are what you want to try and create more of and consciously choose throughout your day. So, and when you can do that, you begin to recreate those kind of moments and you're able to anchor those into reality um, whenever you consciously choose to. So that's very interesting. So a huge, huge thing that every single person on this planet should be doing is grounding themselves because you kind of... When you're not present and you're kind of scatterbrained or you're experiencing brain fog or stress or anxiety or all those kinds of things, it's important to ground yourself and kind of let the earth absorb all those negative energies and transmute it into something else. So today, um, if you're open to it, I'd like to invite you to smoke some cannabis. Um, I recommend a nice heavy indica strain for, for an exercise like this. Um, sativa can be just as good because cannabis is an amplifier of intentions and when you're combining, when you're consciously choosing a cannabis strain 
to do this kind of work, it amplifies that even more. So you can use a sativa or hybrid if that's all you have, it will still be beneficial. But when you intentionally choose a nice heavy indica, um, that grounding experience will be so much better. So. So I want you just to take a moment, find yourself a comfy spot to either sit or lay down and we will get into a nice little exercise. I just took a nice little hit of my nice heavy indica strain isn't super important as long as it gives you that very heavy grounding effect. Now, now that you're in a comfy position, you have taken a few tokes and are getting your mind right, cannabis is beginning to work in your body and starting to relax you, I want you to close your eyes and <clears throat> I just want you to start noticing your breath. You don't have to strain yourself or force it. I just want you to observe it. And just take a moment and just feel any discomfort that's going on in your body. And just bring your awareness down, down into your body. Perfect, you're doing a great job. So now I want you to create an image in your mind's eye of a straight electrical line that begins right at the base of your spine. And if you're familiar with the chakras, right connected to that bottom chakra, your lowest chakra, your primal energy force. The energy force that makes you feel safe and present and all your basic needs cared for. So we'll just start imagining that electrical line and some people are visual and can actually see this line. Others might just sense it, kind of feel it, that it's there and others might perceive it as perhaps a sound or a color. Whatever you perceive this line to look like or whatever you sense it to be is the correct way. I don't want you to get stuck just because you can't visualize it and that is okay, it's okay. So just imagine that electrical line at the base of your spine and I want you to send that line down, 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 deep, very, very deep into the core of the earth. And once you're all the way down there, I want you to start sending that discomfort that you felt in your body down that core. Just imagine it going down into the earth, down, down into the earth any negative thought patterns you've had lately, send that down, down into the earth. Let the earth turn it into something else. If you have any issues in your relationships, I want you to send that person's energy back down into the earth. Down, down into the earth. And I just want you to clear any negative self-talk that you've been having on your mind in the past few days. Anything negative that you've thought about yourself, I want you to send those thoughts down into the earth to be released. I want you to think about your fears, especially with everything going on in the earth right now. Um, <laughs> Thing going on in the world. There's a lot. And I'm sure you have a lot that needs to be released. So I just want you to let those 
thoughts and fears just go down that cord all the way down to the center of the earth and let that be transmuted to something else and just keep allowing any thoughts that are popping up right now that are disturbing or don't serve your higher purpose. I just want you to let those go down into the earth. You don't need those things anymore. By allowing all that stagnant negative energy, negative thoughts flow out of you into the earth. You're releasing them from your body, you're releasing them from your energy, and you'll begin to feel lighter, much, much lighter. And if you're open to this, you can begin to bring this nice, fresh, luscious, green earth energy up, up that cord that you created start bringing that energy from the earth this clean healing relaxing energy bring it all up up from that cord into the base of your spine and allow that energy to start filling your body goes up your spine it comes up and fills your heart space and you can just imagine that nice big green energy kind of just flowing around within your heart space and from there you can you can imagine it going up and filling your body filling your arms and your hands, filling your head, healing all those old emotions and all those bad thought patterns and kind of just begin healing and filling those holes after we had released everything. And you can imagine it flowing down into your torso, to your hips and filling your legs and feet that green, beautiful, relaxing energy. And just stay here a moment and notice how you feel. Do you feel lighter, fresher, with a more open and authentic awareness of who you are? You're not cloudy anymore, filled with the thoughts of others or those negative thoughts that creep in sometimes and that fear, it's all gone. And you just have this sense of calm. Now that you feel really, really, really good, you can either start coming out of this little guided relaxation grounding energy work or if you're in a position where you are able to fall asleep and let that energy work its magic over the period of the night or your nap you can do that as well you enjoyed this little healing exercise there will be more to come so stick around and I'll catch you on the next one bye